Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, can you see me? Is anybody out there? Anybody out there? Say happy Saturday to you. I don't know if I should sing because I don't know if you can see me. Can somebody see me? Can you hear me? Is anybody out there? Hello? Hello? Hi from Atlanta. Can you see me? Can you see me, Atlanta? Can anybody see me? Can anybody see me? Can y'all see me? Can you see me? Excuse me. Can you see me? I know that's a silly question, but I've been trying to be seen. Woo! Yes, yeah, sweet baby Jesus, you can hear me and see me. I had to drive all over the fucking parking lot. I cussed out Verizon all the way from there to here. Hi, Johnny. I cussed them all out. I was like, damn it to hell, as I just had the best idea ever. Hi from Minnesota. How are you doing up there today? I hope the weather's good. So good to see y'all. This is a random go live. So let me just go ahead and get a little comfortable here because I have a call to, hey sister from another mister, um, hi New Mexico. Um, cause this is a call to order. We're about to do, I just had the most brilliant fucking idea. Like I'd be having brilliant ideas sometimes, not all the time, but some of the times. Hi, if you're just joining me, my name is Mel. I'm your chubby Italian best friend from North Carolina, but I am originally from Michigan, Michigan in the house. Michigan in the house. So happy to see y'all. I tried to eat with y'all. Hey, Chris. I tried to eat my um, my meal of the day with y'all because everybody's like, what the hell do you eat? But y'all couldn't join me and my ass was hungry. So I just went ahead and ate. Um, I had some baked chicken and some collard greens and some um, Brunswick stew. For those of you up north, you don't know what the hell that is, but I'll show you another day. There's a barbecue place down here. It's my favorite place to eat. And I got me this huge, huge unsweetened tea. Uh, Jacksonville. I'm down in the Jville area down by the beach. Um, anyway, hi! How are my besties today? Hi, besties. How are you? So, listen. I just had this brilliant idea. That's where I need y'all to come in. So, I never ask anybody for money. Those of you who don't know me, let me tell you really quick who I am. My name is Mel. About fucking six weeks... No, not six weeks ago. Three and a half weeks ago, I started this thing called the Chubby Girl Challenge. Um, there are women in here who are called the Chubbettes. We are a group of women who are over the age of 40, who are either in perimetopause, postmenopause, or menopause, who our lives sucked dick before we started all this together because we had, like, a belly fat. We weren't sleeping through the night. We were just a hot mess, right? And so... I too was eating like 14 to 1500 calories a day, starving myself and fucking literally not using weight. By the way, if swearing offends you, this is not the right place and I'm not your friend because I'm a swearing motherfucker. So anyway, as I was saying, so I started this thing and this, I started mine like now nine weeks ago, almost going on 10 weeks. I don't even fucking know right now. It's like all this like whirlwind of shit. So anyway, I started out, I started fasting and then I started taking a digestive enzyme in the morning. Cause you know, none of those motherfuckers told me about that. And then, uh, I break my fast every day with protein. That's what this is right here. This is my uh, coffee with protein shake. And I drink that first. And then my middle meal every day is whatever the fuck I want to. And then for dinner I have protein and then I have a protein snack. And then I'm eating 300, 300, holy shit, 100 ounces of water a day. Um, and I'm also uh, 100 ounces of water a day and uh, movement, right? You got to move. And I've lost 32 pounds now. So anyway, I'm the third or whatever. I decided I'm going to launch this fucking video. I launched this video. The video blows the fuck up, like for real, for real. It's got 4 million views today. And all these people are like, oh, damn, what are you doing, girl? And I was like, holy shit, maybe we should do something called the Chubby Girl Challenge. So we did it. And I've been petrified for three weeks. I haven't been sleeping. I haven't been eating because I'm like, what the fuck if this doesn't work for my girls? Then they're going to be like this bitch, which again, we're all different. Our bodies are all different. So I'm giving people a foundation or a map to do it with. And y'all are fucking making it your own, right? But the thing about it that's beautiful is it's a lifestyle change. Not only is it a lifestyle change, it's a mental game, okay? So we're not only dealing with our bodies, we're dealing with our mental, okay? So anyway, I said all that to say this. Not ever have I ever asked for a dime from anybody in this room, okay? Oh, by the way, to the lady who sent me Starbucks money this morning, when I tell you I love you, like... 
$10, I woke up and I work all night. Those of you who do not know, I work all night long and, um, I got up, I got off work this morning at nine o'clock and then I freaking woke up and it said, you had a cash app. I've never gotten a cash app. Um, I cried because I always send money. If you saw the video, I send money all the time to my kids. They're like, Hey mom, like, can I get $25? Hey mom, I need gas. Hey mom, you know, and I send them money on cash app, but I've never gotten cash app. So I cried. So I know that's a little foolish thing, but it made me cry because I'm so used to taking care of other people. So thank you for that. Thank you for the roses. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, thank you for that. Um, and thank you for the cash app. And the other thing I want to say is there's a tip thing up here. Don't ever tip me here, please. If you want to send something for the chubby girl challenge or you want to donate something, please let me know because I found out this morning the hard way. Someone sent me $20 yesterday and was like, Hey, add this to the swag bags. Cause we give away swag bags every Monday and, um, or I give them away, right? They're, for, they come out of my pocket. I have to mail them all out on Tuesday because I haven't mailed any of them yet because I suck about mailing shit. But anyway, um, every week on Saturday, the Chubby Girl Challenge, we draw names on Monday and I send out a swag bag. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you all about. It too. So I had this brilliant idea. Starting April 1st, we're going to do a reset because everybody keeps asking me what the fuck is going to happen to the group on April 1st or when the challenge is over. The challenge does not end, my loves. That's the thing. People keep asking me, what are you going to do when you're not a chubby girl anymore? Once a fucking chubby girl, always a chubby girl. That shit's not going away, right? So people who think that you're taking these digestive enzymes or you're taking magnesium at night to sleep, that you're going to be able to someday not take that. I'm sorry, my love, you're not getting any younger. So that's probably not going to be a thing. So you need to get it in your head. Like I'm probably going to be taking these supplements for the rest of my life, but so the fuck what? Because we feel better, right? We mentally feel better. We look better. I've lost 32 pounds in nine weeks. I know there's people in here who have lost amazing amounts of, of weight. Um, the next challenge, it's it's happening now. The challenge is going on now. I've said this yesterday and I'll say this today. You cannot wait another day to take care of your health. There is no more, sorry, friend wants to say hi. There is no more waiting till Monday. There is no more putting this shit off, okay? Because here's the thing. If you continue to fucking put it off, then you're continuing to put your health off. You've had enough years and enough excuses, enough bullshit, enough games that you played with yourself. Today is the day. Fran says hi. Today is the day you're going to put yourself first. I tried to give her a haircut. It did not go so well. Anyway... So how you can join the challenge is you're going to go up to my link in my bio. There's something called a link tree. You want to click on that link tree and you want to go ahead down to the Facebook group. Okay. It's called the chubby girl challenge. If you want to join us, if you want to join us on YouTube, you can go to YouTube and look up Google the chubby girl challenge. This is where I'm doing a call to order. What the fuck is a call to order? So if you are in the group and you've been in the group, we just hit 5,000 people, 5,000 people in three weeks. It's beautiful. Okay. Here's what I need you to do. Here's what I need people to do. I don't want your money. I don't want your anything, but I do need your support. I just launched a video earlier. Okay. I just launched a video earlier and that video says right up there in, in the link tree, right? Oh, I mean the videos, there's a video and I'm in all black and I say, Hey besties, it's Wednesday. And I launched that to our group on Wednesday, okay? What I need you ladies to do is I need you to go and like that video. I need you to share that video. And I need you for once in life to put yourself out there, okay? What the fuck does that mean, Mel? I need you to make a duet with the video. I don't care if you're not in the screen. I don't care if you're pointing at the screen. I need you to stitch it and I need you to duet it. Why do I need you to do that? Because my goal... My goal is to have 10,000 people. Ten, no, it's not recommended for men. This is a women's only thing. This is for people in menopause. I, I don't know about men. I don't have a pee, pee I can't tell you what to do. I can only tell you what I do. I'm 52 years old and that's what we're doing. This might not work for everybody. This might work for, this might work for everybody. So far, the women who are doing it are loving it. So if you are in the room and you are a in the chubby girl challenge, I ask that you throw a crown in the room right now to show people how many people are doing it. 
The other thing I'm asking you to do is I am begging you. I am begging you. We want to get as many women. Okay, this is about women's health. This is not about money. If you know this about me, you know this about me. You know that I do not charge a dime for this information. It does not take, thank you very much. It does not, I do not charge a dime to join the group. Thank you, Chris. I do not charge shit for anything. Information is free, okay? What
And so join the link tree, go up to the link tree in my bio, click on it. The first thing I ask is that if you want to use the digestive enzyme that I am now using, um, if you go to YouTube, look up, all you have to do is look up chubby girl challenge or chubby girl lifestyle, and it will take you to my page. Um, that's the other thing, ladies, if you are posting on Facebook, anything that you are posting, put hashtag chubby girl challenge, because I want to blow the internet up with that. Um, yeah, no, please come on over. We'd love to have you. It's going to take me a second to answer all the people that are joining, but the more people that join, the more the merrier. Again, if you want to send something monetarily, and I love you for that, whoever is doing those things, do not send it on the tip thing up there under my name. Um, please send it through the Cash App, or I'll be happy to provide for you my Zelle, um, just because... Uh, someone sent $20 last night to the group and said, hey, put this in the swag bag for the ladies so it gives me more stuff to be able to buy. And I ended up getting $4.17. So um, if you have YouTube, please go to YouTube, look up Chubby Girl Challenge and follow and subscribe over there. Um, once I hit a 1,000 people, I'm actually going to be going live on um on the on the uh on youtube because that's a, a safer platform so um i do swear a lot though so i don't know how the hell that's gonna work but anyway thank you for the crown my beautiful friend um fran's got a crown oh fran you had a crown i crowned you um but again if you're just joining very quickly um my name is mel 52 years old i'm in menopause i could not lose weight I was eating 14, 1500 calories a day, fucking starving myself. My doctor challenged me about 10 weeks ago. I started doing a fast. I'm doing a 14, 10, which means I eat 10 hours a day. Um, thank you for following the group. I appreciate you, Renee. Um, if you um, are doing this already, oh, look at that. Uh, uh, thank you, Holly. That was really sweet of you. Um, so what we are doing um, is we are... Um, focusing on protein. We're not focusing on carbs. We're not focusing on calories. So the first thing you do is you're going to do a body scan. It's called the Me360 app. It's completely, completely, completely free. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and scan your body. Then you're going to weigh yourself and you're not going to weigh yourself again for two weeks. We are breaking the trauma bond from the scale. Then you're going to focus on 100 grams of protein or more a day, 100 ounces of water or more a day, and you're going to start moving, okay? In the morning, hi, Wanda. How are you, my friend from Canada? Um, we are going to go ahead in the morning. We're going to take a digestive enzyme with a probiotic. I suggest highly, highly, highly the ZenWise. It is up in the link in my bio. Um, I started taking it like you're supposed to on my days off, and I've been pooping my brains out. I hate to say it because it's a fast-acting digestive enzyme. Normally, I do one to two in the morning when I'm working, so I'm not in the bathroom out all day, but these definitely, definitely work. Um, if you have a trouble using the bathroom after five to seven days, I highly suggest you add fiber to your diet, to your, you know, your regimen. Um, Zenwise also has a product called No Bloat. That's supposed to work really good. I just got that in the mail. I will let you all know about that product. But anyway, so we are doing three meals a day and a, oh, and, a sna and a snack. The first meal of the day is protein. I do Profi, which is a protein shake and my coffee mixed together. And then for lunch, it's whatever the fuck you want to. What? Yep, this is a lifestyle change. So lunch is whatever you want to eat for lunch within reason. Um, I just went and had baked chicken, collard greens, and um, Brunswick stew for my lunch, right, for my, my lunch of choice today. And I got a sugar-free sweet tea, and I added raspberry skinny syrup to it. Now, for dinner tonight, I'm having salmon and broccoli and rice for dinner with quinoa. I think that's what it's called, quinoa. Um, I'm having that. Um, and... Also, but I'll tell you something, Joy, the beautiful part about it is after about a week, it will settle down. The only time you're going to be in the bathroom going forward is when you eat crazy shit. Like when you eat, like the, about a week ago, I had a breakdown and got a donut. I was in the bathroom for like three hours. My body was like, what the fuck is this stuff, right? 
we should have been on a digestive enzyme forever. Um, doctors are recommending it. Like this is something we should have been on a long time ago because we have trouble processing our food. So anyway, water during the day, movement, three meals and a snack that are all protein driven. We are counting protein. If you do not know how to count protein, if you do not know how to go to the store and count protein, there is a video called the zero protein trick. And it, that is what you're supposed to focus on. Now, I know you're like, this bitch is crazy. I've always, always the probiotic is in with the digestive enzyme. Okay. Um, and so here's the thing. Here is the thing, right? Um, at the end of the day, we're going to take our magnesium glycinate. That's going to help you sleep to the night. It's going to help with your blood pressure, your um, blood sugar. It's going to help with all of your all of your stuff. Um, and then if you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, if you want any specialized like one-on-one -on -one information, you can go into my link in my bio. Gosh, I got to get my nails done, y'all. I swear to you, I'm going to take money out of my paycheck this week. I'm not going to use it for anything chubby challenge. I'm finally going to go get my nails done. I haven't had my nails done since I started this. Um, but yeah, so it, don't overthink it. You got to trust the process, okay? Fran, they're giving you hearts. Um, you got to trust the process, okay? Don't weigh yourself again for two weeks, and I promise you, I promise you, you you will see it, right? Um, is the Facebook chub... Nope, nope, nope. The chubettes are not going to be up until this Friday, okay? And that is going to be either an invite only, or it's going to be a... If you did, it, it's going to be a VIP group. Okay, I'm just going to put it out there in the universe. Um, I will give you all all that information later in the week. I promise you we're going to talk about it more on Friday. Um, Chris, who you see in here, Maybelline Fucklebutt, um, actually is living proof. When we met each other, Chris was like, I'm on the scale every day. This is what I'm doing. And I said, listen, I know you don't know me from Adam, but just trust the process. Chris looked at me like I was fucking crazy, but Chris trusted the process. And here we are. Don't, don't set yourself up for failure. Okay. If you're a menopause, you should not be weighing yourself but every two two weeks. Okay. Um, please feel free to book a one on one. Come to group. It got canceled yesterday because I was sick in in the um, urgent care. But if you do schedule um, small, how often do you do the small group or one on one? The small groups are set up for my day off of work. So those are Thursday and Friday. I've got a couple appointments on Sundays. Um, but the groups are Thursday night and Friday night from uh, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. It's a group of 10 women and it's a Zoom session. It's $5 to sit. That's it. The only reason it's $5 is because I didn't want to like have people commit and not show up. So this is going to be a question and answer thing the first week and information. So if you have questions about like, what probiotics should I take? What should I do here? What are your suggestions? Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. Okay. I'm just a little fat girl from North Carolina who may or may not have figured this out. So again, um, we've got, I got 200 testimonies right now of women who this is working for women that have lost from a pound and a half in two weeks to three weeks to women who have lost 18 pounds, 17 pounds, 14 pounds, 12 pounds. But at the end of the day, it's not about the weight loss. It's about feeling better. It's about like taking your health and putting your health forward and really focusing on protein. And again, there's studies out there and we will talk about that in our one-on-ones. I'll show you where if you eat protein, you don't have to worry about your carbs. You don't have to worry about your calories because they take care of themselves. And so we got to get rid of diet culture. And that's what we're going to be talking about in group. You can come to group once. You can come to group every week. However, um, that is going to be something that's going to be offered in the Chubbette group. Is group will then become a free thing. And we will have groups of 20 plus women in Zoom meetings. Um, if you want to hang out with a group of like-minded women who are 40 and above and in your age group. So that's something we're moving to. So real quick before I let you go. If you are new... Um, there is a link in my bio, okay? Uh, link in my bio, and if you see fit, please go to the Etsy store um, and like. That's Kiki. If you've met my daughter, Kiki, um, Kiki is uh, an amazing artist. She made us T-shirts that say "Fuck the Scale." She made um, T-shirts that no, there's no cost. There's absolutely no cost. There is. Um, t-shirts in there well the t-shirts in her etsy there's a cost um 
but she only makes five dollars off those but if you would like her etsy store um if you want chubby girl merch it's in there if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one, it's in there if you want the Zenwise products, if you want to know what probiotic I take now with digestive enzyme, do not come at me with no crazy shit and say, well, I saw the video with 4 million views and you said you used the Spring Valley. If you can get the Spring Valley, use the Spring Valley. I am not going to pay Walmart for a markup. I am not going to pay $40, $50 on Amazon to get a probiotic. Take any probiotic with the digestive enzyme. Any, any any, I can't say this enough, any digestive enzyme and probiotic is better than nothing. I personally take the Zenwise. I love it. Like I've absolutely fallen in love with it because it's really kind of gentle on my stomach and I don't get sick like I was getting on the other one. The other one is a Walmart brand. If you can find it, power be to you. I'm not fucking with that one anymore. So again, no sh no shame, no harm. If you've got it, use it, right? Um, for the magnesium glycinate, it is not magnesium citrate. You will poop your brains out. That is not what we are taking. All magnesium is not created the same. We are taking at bedtime magnesium glycinate. Mel, how many milligrams? I can't tell you how many milligrams. I am not a doctor. I am not a nurse. You are a grown-ass woman. You take whatever you think your body needs. I started out with 100 milligram tablet for the first four days and then I moved to 200 milligrams. I sleep through the night now. I do not have the menopause sweats. I freaking, I'm off my blood pressure medicine. I feel a thousand times better and I promise you will too. If you think I'm full of shit, Google. I'm over 50 magnesium glycinate. I, is it glycinate or glycinate? I don't know how the fuck you even say it. But what you're going to do is you're going to look it up and say, what are the benefits of this? Every woman, every woman, every woman over the age of 40 should be on some type of magnesium. The deficiency is real. Magnesium deficiency is real. It works with 300 enzymes in your body. It helps you sleep, helps with fibromyalgia, it helps with body aches. Okay, Fran, I know you're sick of hearing about it, but that's too bad, okay? We got to tell the women so they'll tell all the other women, okay? Sorry, you don't have to take magnesium, but some people do, okay? So we're going to take that, and then you're going to start moving your body. You're going to focus on, you know, taking some freaking water in, and that's it. And all of a sudden, two weeks from now, you're going to get on the scale and be like, what the actual fuck? You're going to have lost weight for the first time for some people in years, you're going to feel a thousand percent better. You're going to have energy like this. People are like, where the hell do you get your energy from? I don't fucking know. But about seven days after doing this, you wake up one morning. The first week of the fast is hell. I can't say this enough. The first week of the, uh, the fast, you're going to call me every bitch in the world. You're going to be like that bitch. I'm starving. All you can think about is cookies and cake. And you can think about all the shit that you think you can't have. But then you remember every day I get to have a meal of whatever I want. Every day for lunch, you get to have whatever the fuck you want to. If it's a Big Mac, if it's fucking two pieces of pizza and a salad, it's within reason, but you get to eat that. You get to have that every single day. So you're not denying yourself anything. And then finally one morning about the, it's about like the fifth, sixth, seventh day you wake up and you're like, holy shit, where'd all this energy come from? Well, holy shit. I feel so much better. Holy shit. Like, why am I feeling like this? Like, who is this? Like, I feel like about five years younger. Like, what's going on? And then about a week later, you're like, damn, I feel about 10 years younger. And your skin starts clearing up and you start feeling better. And you're able to, like, sleep through the night. And those are the wins we're talking about, right? So you might only lose a pound. You might only lose two pounds. Who fucking knows? But it's not about the weight loss. It's about living your best life. That's what this is about. This is about making a mental lifestyle change. Stop counting calories. Stop stop overthinking this shit and the more it works for you the more you're going to be like I was like damn was it this easy all along why didn't I think of this why didn't someone tell me to eat protein and remember the protein 100 grams or more is a recommendation that's the minimum you're shooting for Fran tell them it's the minimum tell them again Fran it's the minimum that's it it's the minimum y'all you can have more than 100 grams of protein actually it is recommended whatever your thank you for the roses i love you whatever it is recommended you should actually what your recommended weight is so let's pretend your recommended weight is 
150 pounds. You're going to times that times 0.6. And that's technically how many grams of protein you should be eating every day. Do you have to? No. You're a grown ass fucking woman. But if you want this to work, that's what you should be doing. So anyway, I said all that to say this. I got to go. It's getting dark. Me and Fran are getting ready to go take a ride and then head home. Because I got to clean my house because I got to work tonight. Um, no, I'm not going live. I wasn't even supposed to be live. But if you are in here, I am asking you, I am begging you, begging you, begging you to go on that new video that I just put out that says, hey, join the Chubbettes. Come be a part of the Chubby Girl Challenge. Go down and share that. If you do not have a Facebook and you join YouTube, I uploaded it to YouTube. Share the video from YouTube. So every woman over the age of 40 knows this is no bullshit, Okay. If you have lost weight, if you are feeling better, if you are a chubbette and you actually know what this is like, stop it. Stop gatekeeping this shit and let other women know so we can build this community. My goal is to hit 10,000 women by the first, which gives us a week to get 5,000 more women in that group. Are we going to do it? I don't fucking know. My other goal is to hit 1,000 followers on YouTube so I can go live there so that way we can download the videos in case they shut TikTok down. Anyway, I said all that to say this. At the end of the day, there's nobody better than you. What I want you to do when you think about, should I do this? It, what, what is this lady talking about? Is this lady correct? I'm watching this person make YouTube videos over here. It's really kind of, I mean, TikTok videos. It's really cute. They're dancing. But anyway, um, remember this. What if a doctor told you tomorrow you only had 365 days to live? This is what I said the other day in my live, and this is like serious. What if someone looked at you and said, you have one year to get this right. You have one year to lose the weight. You have one year to start taking care of yourself. And you're a I'll start Monday kind of girl. I'll start it Monday. I'll start it Monday. I'll start it Monday. Why the fuck do you have to start on Monday? Why do you have to wait till Monday? Why can you not? Look at, look how cute this is. They're over there dancing by their car. How cute. They're making, they're making um, TikToks. That's so cute. Anyway, um, why wait till Monday, right? Your health cannot wait another day. If you're over the age of 40, if you're over the age of 50, if you're over the age of 60, enough is motherfucking enough. You got to get fucking serious with yourself. You have to stop fucking lying to yourself. You have to stop telling yourself, well, I'm, I'm on a diet. I'm doing what I'm supposed to. Diets aren't doing it for you, love. The true sign of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. Do not pay another motherfucking person for patches. Do not pay another person to be in a group. Do not pay for a fucking MLM. Do not pay for fucking uh, protein coffee. Go to your fucking Sam's Club. Get yourself a case of protein shakes and add them to your coffee in the morning. You do not have to pay someone to feel better. You do not have to pay a group of women to support you because I got 5,000 women, all my chubbettes, who will support you. Every day you feel like shit. Every day you feel like quitting. When someone puts a post up, they get 30, 40, 50 responses. People blow their shit up and write to them and say, you can do this. And there'll be days that you need us and there'll be days that you're encouraging people. But at the end of the day, you have a group of women who are fucking about you, who have been through the same thing, who know what it feels like, even if they have 18 pounds to lose and you got someone who's got 100 pounds to lose. The saddest thing I saw today was this woman that was in our group who put up a post that said, I am 500 and some pounds and this is so hard because I'm by myself. Sweetheart, you are not by yourself. Nobody is by themselves anymore. When I say nobody is better than you, I mean that. But you are also surrounded by a group of women, a group of sisters who will fucking love you through it. We don't care what your color is. We don't care what your race is. We don't care what your sexual orientation is. We don't care what your religious, political beliefs are. And if you do, you need to take your ass the fuck out of the room anyway because we don't want to be friends with you. You can't come to the roller rink with us, okay? We are a group of women who will support and love each other through it. And I want you to be a part of that community. Anyway, I got to go. Happy Saturday. Love y'all. Have a blessed and amazing day. Remember, share the video. Tag Chubby Girl Challenge. Follow on YouTube. If you want to, like the Etsy page. Order some swag. Um, but at the end of the day, remember, nobody better than you. And it doesn't cost you anything to invest in yourself. Fran, say goodbye. Say goodbye, chubby girls. Goodbye, chubbats. Love you. Love y'all. Y'all have a blessed Saturday. And I'll see y'all Monday night. Monday night when we do the drawing for the swag bags at 9 o'clock here on TikTok. Love you, ladies.
Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed Saturday. Remember to eat 100 grams of protein or more. Remember to drink 100 ounces of water or more. Remember the middle meal of the day is your meal of choice. Take your probiotic with digestive enzyme. Don't forget to fast. Don't forget before you go to bed to take your magnesium glycinate. Have a great day. Love you. Bye, bestie.